morning and welcome to episode 20 of Netherwood TV on Thursday the 13th of February. I'm Olivia Smith, head girl. And I'm Matthew Dickinson, head boy. In today's episode, we will find out how the performing arts showcase went. As well as hearing this week's recommended read. And finally, we will hear some general school news and reminders. On Tuesday this week, our music, drama and dance students took part in their performing arts showcase. It was a fantastic evening which demonstrated the high levels of talent within our school. Well done to all the students involved in the evening. All of your hard work and time spent rehearsing really paid off. Let's take a look at some pictures. It's time to hear from Mrs Headley for this week's recommended read. Good morning everybody. Well it's the end of term so here I am, Mrs Headley and her recommended read. Got two today and I'm going off the list, 50 reads you ought to read before you're 14 etc. Uh, thinking of my year nines in particular, have a read of Dracula by Bram Stoker. Brilliant and nothing like you kind of see when you've seen the films about Dracula. So read it, it's a good gothic novel and you'll enjoy it. A little bit hard to read, but just got to be um, resilient with that one. And my other one, turning the paper, is, um, go on, Year 7 have been doing Sherlock Holmes, haven't you? And I think you've enjoyed that. So why don't you read The Hound of the Baskervilles? That's a brilliant book, and it's perhaps one of his most famous stories, and we haven't done that one. So I think you'd probably like that, so please read that. Um, nothing more to say, really, apart from have a nice um, half term. What do I always say? Dylan Sorrell and all this. Recharge your batteries. Take care, everyone. Bye. Now let's hear about some individual achievements with some of our Year 11 students within our school. On Saturday the 1st of February, Lloyd Taylor in Year 11 competed in an international gymnastic competition in Dallas, Texas. Lloyd won a gold medal for his level and age group, which is 15 years and above in the tumbling category. Well done, Lloyd. This is a fantastic achievement. On Sunday the 2nd of February, Sonny Greaves, also in Year 11, competed in an international K1 kickboxing tournament at the Metrodome in Barnsley. Sonny fought three times in the to tournament against two English fighters and one French fighter, all aged between 15 and 17. He won all three fights and won two gold medals overall, and he has secured his place in the next tournament. Well done, Sonny. This is an amazing achievement. Let's look at some photos. Yesterday, our Year 11 Prom Committee hosted a Valentine's Bake Sale at break time. All the treats on offer looked amazing. The total amount raised is to be confirmed as the Prom Committee are busy counting it. Here are some pictures from the day. Well done to Alex Athorn who won the local heat of the Rotary Chef competition and got through to the regional heat which took place at Betty's Cookery School at Harrogate. In the heat he had to make a healthy three course meal for less than £20. He chose a menu that had a stuffed mushroom on a bed of rocket as a starter. His main meal was a skirt steak with fondant sweet potatoes, roasted vine tomatoes and a whiskey and peppercorn sauce. 
Then for dessert, he made a shortbread lemon tart with crushed raspberries and chocolate. He was sponsored by Stamber Rotary and the President Barbara Lee came to support him too. His presentation and work ethic were restaurant standard and made us very proud as he is the first person from our area to get through to this level of the competition. Now on to some general school news and reminders. On Thursday the 27th of February it is Year 9 Parents Evening, so please make sure you have booked your appointments using the online booking system. There are still some spaces on the last theatre enrichment trip of this year on the 21st of May. The last trip is to see Les Mis and tickets are £43.50. The trip is open to all year groups, so please see Mrs Soots or Mr Utley for a letter if you are interested. After half term, the mock exams start for Year 11 students, so please make sure you know when your exams are and that you are revising for each subject. We hope you all have a fab half term and rest and recharge on your week off. A reminder that the week after half term is week B, so remember to look at your week B timetable. Thank you for watching Netherwood TV. See you after half term for the next episode.